This is a continuation from the last tutorial, which I showed you um, how to make a simple date picker in Swift. And uh, we had something like this that allowed us to kind of select date. And uh, as we change the date in here, you see it changes down here. Uh, but as I mentioned in the last tutorial, this is a little bit much. I uh, probably don't need all this information. So we're going to fine tune this and just show the um, month, day, and year related to uh, what's been selected here, which is probably much more useful for any kind of calculations or uh, information that you'd actually want to save from this selection. So let me show you how that's done. Um, so right here, the uh, selected date variable is what is being shown to the screen. And so we can use that by uh, sending that to a, uh, a function. And I'm going to create a, well, let me, I'll put this in here first. This is um, the name of our functions called format month. And we're going to send it the date, a date object. Uh, and um, the object we're sending is the selected date uh, variable. All right, and so it's giving me an error now because uh, I didn't add this function yet, but uh, I'm going to go back and forth between um, this older project I have that has this information, and I'll kind of explain it as I put it in here. So I'm going to put this, place this right after the end of the uh, body view that starts here, but in uh, before the end of the uh, content view, end tags. I'm going to put that right in there. And here we go. We have the format month function takes in a date object the name of the object in here is called date and so that's selected date is being sent down and what we're doing is we're getting the current date and then we are um, uh, using the date component going to grab the month um, from the date that was sent in the selected date here right and so if i go ahead and print that component you'll see let me show you what that'll look like on the screen. So running our code, let's go ahead and select the date and you'll see, so it's everything after uh, standard time here is uh, our date component. It says month one is leap month false. And so uh, if I change this, it says two false, I guess it's not a leap year this year and three and so on. And so, uh, that's cool, but it's not very useful. We want to actually get that just the three would be useful, right? And so to do that, I, I commented out what you actually need to do is you need to grab that. It's basically like an array and you need to grab that part of the component that is named month that you saw there. It was a month colon one. And so then we can just return that. So I'll get rid of this return of the component. Let's go ahead and run that. And now we should just get the number one for January uh, when we run this. And there it is, there's one. And if you see, if I'll change it, two, three, right? And so uh, honestly, it probably doesn't even make any sense to display this anymore. We'll just display the current date. So I'm getting rid of the that whole long uh, line of that selected date. and. Uh, I'll show you. So I'm going to put in, let me, I'll grab both of these. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to add three functions that we're going to use. So we have our format month function already. And I'm going to add in format day, which is very, very similar to the format month. Everything's the same, except we just replaced day with um, month. And then we return that as a string uh, so that it can be displayed on the screen. And the same thing with the year. Um, again, uh, we're just replacing uh, the month variable with a year. And so now if I come up here and let me go ahead and just copy this. And, you know, I'll put the little dash in there so it looks like a normal date is being displayed. Uh, and I'm just going to change this to format day. And this one will be format year. 
All right, and let's give it a try. We should be good to go. Yeah, so you see I've selected 111, 21. If I move this on, 112, 14, February. Perfect. So I hope you found that useful. Um, I do like the idea that it, they're, they're separated into these parts because, uh, you know, when you do any kind of uh, data work with dates, it's good to have that the month and day and year separated out so you can save them and check them against any database system that you're using with dates. So um, that's it. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. Um, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks.